Okay, so I guess we're going to go right from Aries through to Pisces, and we're going to see what is happening in the love lives of Aries. All right, so will your ex return? The Queen of Wands energy. The Queen of Wands. Aries, that is you. So that is you in your reading. You have said hello to me, and look at all those cards all over my arm. Look at this, a four of wands. You may be buying a home, Aries. You may be getting married. The four of wands is about stability. It looks as though you and your partner are making very big decisions uh, about what's going on. So if you have an ex, they may not matter because I'm seeing that your energy here is very focused on the present. So if there's an ex out there in the world, we're going to still find out who they are. But you look like you're very, very happy right now. Uh, it, this is a very fulfilling time in your life, that four of wands. Look at the beautiful garden, the beautiful home. The couple is dancing right on top. Nice energy, Aries. All right. So let's look and see what is bringing you to this reading. Ah, somebody who hurt you in the past. So for the people that I'm reading for, remember this is a general reading. Not every single element of the reading will be uh, applicable to you. But what we're seeing here is take what resonates. But this really tells me that you've come to the reading for many of the Aries who have appeared who are already in another relationship. You're still thinking about somebody from the past who hurt you. You're still wounded. You're still feeling sort of like, what on earth was that person thinking? Why would they have done that? All right. I only have one like at this time, if anybody would be so, so kind. Hi from India. Hi, Mac. Hi, I am a Cancer. Okay, well, we're going to see if your ex is going to return. We're doing Aries right now, and we'll go straight through the Zodiac all the way through. If anybody would like to time stamp it, feel free. I'll pin it at the end. Thank you. Okay, so Aries, you have someone from the past who hurt you pretty badly. You still think about them. You think about the passion in particular. The Eight of Wands, it looks like you had a very, very passionate relationship. Once, once one in which somebody, I don't know how to say this, is very sexual. <laughs> they got all these umbrellas are up and open. And so your chakras with one another, you know, your kundalini energy was absolutely out of sight with this person. Okay, so we have that energy and that is what brought you to this reading is that although you're happy, oh, the lover's card, okay. So I would say that the lover's card is a choice. And so it looks as though you have been thinking about what choice you would make if this person came back into your life. All right. Let's see. What do we have for the near future? Leo energy. We have Leo energy. It really speaks to the fact that you feel as though this person will always be your favorite physical lover. Okay, this is a person who made you feel kind of tiny, you know, this is a, that looks like a very, that lion is very, very big. And so the two of you, though, meshed in a way that you've never meshed with anyone else before or after. Uh, I would say from the looks of this, this lover has been thinking about you. The lover's card with that eight of wands, it looks like your lover has been thinking about you in the past or recently. Uh, we a oh, new beginning yep so so this person's going to come towards you this is a card that represents them and we're going to look at what the situation is around the two of you so let's see what we have here Cassie cancer here dealing with the Pisces okay so Mac oh good I'm so excited Thank you for stopping by. Please hit the like button. I've asked, um, I'm just seeing one like so far. You know, YouTube would like to know if you like what you're seeing. All right, the world card. Ooh, look at this. So for many of you, your person of interest, the, the ex is going to want a new beginning. And you are, I don't think you're going to want it. I feel as though you intellectually like the idea because of the passion right if you notice this world card 
<laughs> her, her skirt is being blown. You know, it's like the old Marilyn Monroe picture where she's standing over the, the street vent and, the, you know, the hot air is coming up underneath her skirt. That's what it looks like. It looks like this person is somebody who certainly lifts your spirits and your skirt, uh, but it doesn't look like you really want to choose them. I don't think you do. I think you are happier with the lover that you have. I think that you are in the mood that you might be tempted to be physical with them. You might be very, very tempted to make love with them. But with the world card, that would indicate that you're on to different, um, a different situation, right? Because you've got this four of wands. All right. So let's look and see what the obstacle or the consideration will be. Julia, hi! Leo in the house. I love it. All right. Thanks for joining me. Let's see. We have the Ten of Swords energy. You know what? This is your fear and your challenge is that this person stabbed you in the back before. And I, and your feeling is, is that you're really willing, you're willing to let them go. If, you know, you're willing to maybe have some physical relationship with them, but Right now, um, it, you know, the outcome is, is that your feeling about them is that they were a wonderful lover and a terrible, maybe a terrible person to you. They didn't treat you very well. It took you a long time to recover from what looks like a pretty big betrayal. And we're seeing the outcome card is the Three of Wands. You have the absolute ability to choose this person. If you want them back, they are coming back. They want everything with you. The Three of Wands, your ship has come into the port. And what this says is that the answer is yes. Your ex is definitely returning. And my, my feeling is, is that due to the way that they betrayed you, and they want a new choice, I think you're going to say yes, maybe, to uh, a little tumble in the hay, but I'm not seeing you really want to, to do more than that. I feel as though, for some of you, you will. For some of you, you absolutely will get back together with this person, and it looks with that, the strength card, the fool card, the lover's card, and the three of wands, it looks like it will be a very happy, successful reunion. Let me look at Island Time Wellness here and pull and see what we have in store. We have keys on the ring. Many options, a decision. You have to make an unconventional decision. You might consider a one-night stand, which is what I just said. You might just go back and test how you feel about the person by making love with them, and you may make your decision at that point. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to, I pick up the cards, and I'm going to go to Taurus and see what we have here for Taurus, will my ex return? And we are 10 minutes. Okay. So perfect. Okay. So let's see, Julia. Hey, beautiful black queen. <laughs> You're so great. Teresa, hi. So nice to see you here. We are going to now look at Taurus, ex return for Taurus. What is the energy for Taurus and their ex return? All right. So. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, once again, I will say that not every card may describe you. If you want to get your energy in here with a collective, please hit the thumbs up button. Look at this Empress. Whoa, that is pure manifestation. Taurus, that is your energy. This is the Taurus. Taurus, the queen, but the Empress. She's the queen of the queens. So you have appeared, Aries appeared in their reading too. So that's fantastic. All right, what else? So what's crossing Taurus and reconciliation? Three of Cups. It looks as though you were very, this person that you had a relationship with, Taurus, is someone who you really felt was a friend prior to the breakup. It really, it really indicates also that many of you still have contact with this person. So the Three of Cups is celebratory energy, it's reunion energy. Uh, with the Three of the Empress card, you have manifested and attracted this person back into your life. 
Good morning, Teresa. Yeah, Gemini here, good, okay. Fantastic. Beautiful Black Queen, what are you? What is your sun sign? All right, we have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles energy says that you're really ready for this, Taurus. It looks as though the two of you may have spoken or texted. You may be getting together for lunch or chat because it does look like a very loving relationship, the Hermit card. It does appear in the recent past that both of you have been searching for answers about this relationship. But again, I'm reading this primarily uh, from the intention of a lover. They have been, been giving this a lot of thought, but I like hermit energy. It's searching for right answers. It's a spiritual search. It's a very important energy for doing the right thing and, you know, really having that Virgo wisdom of practicality. We have the King of Wands. There we have Leo energy. So now in this particular deck, the king, the kings have two different cards, a masculine and a feminine version. So it does look like your person is going to take a soft approach towards you, a much more reserved approach towards you. But make no mistake, this is King of Wands energy. It's fixed. This person is very fixed on you. They love you. They know that they love you with this Empress card and the Three of Cups because they really have the focus of knowing that they want passion. That person is wearing a red dress and there's so much beautiful, soft, glowy energy here. What do we see in the near future for you? The Tower card, okay. So the Tower card is a neutral card until we see what's surrounding it. The main emphasis of the Tower card is surprise! <laughs> Usually surprises of the Tower nature can be really shocking, right? But it can also be a very good surprise. So we're, gonna, we're definitely going to clarify uh, the confusing cards, any cards that are neutral. All right. Let's see, the Eight of Wands. Oh, your person is in it to win it, my friends. In it to win it, lots of passion, wanting to make love all night long. Uh, really speaks to the fact that they are up. That yeah, I don't know if any of you saw the movie Up. It was a house that was carried away by balloons. This looks like Up, but I would say something else is Up, <laughs> not houses. So that's what I'm seeing for your person. Very, very passionate, Mo a lot of mojo there for them. Okay, so let's see you in this situation, how they're viewing you, how they see Justice card. You're very balanced, Libra energy. You're very calm, cool, and collected, but very hopeful. Nice, nice energy. So let's see what else we have. We have the Strength card. So what's hidden here is that you're very strong. Your love for one another is very, very strong. So it's very interesting, you know, tell me in the comments what brought about, if you are, you know, if this resonates with you, tell me about, you know, what happened here, because it really helps, you know, helps getting an understanding from you. The Hierophant, look at that, ooh, I don't see a Three of Swords, so this Hierophant and this Empress, that's Taurus energy, that's you, Taurus. This is a shocking, to me, what's going to be the shock and I will clarify it, is that I believe that you will soon get an offer. So let's look at the cards and see what the clarifiers are for this. Okay, I'm going to do Island Time Wellness. Hi, Damian Richard. How are you, Aquarius? She's an Aries. She Is she thinking about you? Indeed, she is. <laughs> Now, um, we will be time stamping, and you will be able to view this on the channel. We did do Aries, but um, you'll be able to view it on the channel. Again, I'm only getting one like here. Is there, um, is there any way anybody could give me a thumbs up? That would be, I would be so appreciative, if you like it, if you like what's being presented. Okay, the Tower card. What is the Tower card? Uh, heartbroken, sure. You were deeply, deeply hurt. It does show that whatever happened in the relationship when it broke up was very um, painful. Let's see what else we have here. Ah, uh, this person ran. That's what you didn't expect. That was what you didn't expect, and that is actually what your worry is right now. However, because what is hidden, your challenge that's hidden is not a challenge. So you're in this energy of the strength card. So they're coming back to say how much they like you. 
um, that romance is blooming. All right, and look at that. There you are, Taurus, in your reading. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing. So the answer is yes for Taurus. Is your lover coming back? Yes, they are. They're coming back after having run away because they were afraid for most with whom this resonates. And it does look like they tried to keep contact, but it looks like this person had some things that they had to take care of with that hermit card. All right, so on to Gemini. So let's see. <laughs> All right, so we have for Gemini the Ace of Swords. Woo, Gemini, you have a lot of clarity. You know exactly what the truth is, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. You have the secret. You really have the key to what you need to know about the person who is your ex, okay? So what you see is the truth. What you think is you absolutely have clarity about the situation. So let's see the tower card. It happened very suddenly, very unexpectedly, and it does look like for many of you, you tried to keep it from happening, but it looks like the foundation of the relationship was not secure to begin with, and that's what brings the tower down. Now, you know, obviously that is your person, not you, because you had great clarity going into the relationship about what you wanted. The Ten of Swords says that you still are feeling the sting of betrayal from this person. Uh, what felt like betrayal, you felt very stabbed in the back or stabbed in the hair, <laughs> whatever's the case, okay, or stabbed in the hair, sorry. I keep forgetting which camera I'm on. <laughs> I know you like the table shot too, so let's see. What do we have here for the recent past? Four of Cups. Your person has really felt remorse and regret. They felt as though they didn't behave very well. They feel as though, they feel somewhat ashamed. The Four of Cups can be bored or taking you for granted, but in this particular deck, I do not read it that way. I see this person is feeling sad, uh, feeling badly about what they did, and Spirit is holding this umbrella in the way of this, is it a goose? Yeah, it looks like a goose. Um, the goose that didn't lay the golden egg. So what we're seeing here is your person is feeling sad, really sad about what they did, um, a feeling that they should have done something better, they should have done something different. So let's see what we have here. Look at this page of cups coming in. Somebody's coming in with an offer. Now it is a page offer, so it's the offer of like, let's get together, let's have drinks, let's talk, you know, could I stop by, I have something to say to you, but we do see that tiny little fish there. It's not a big offer, but then we have the Magician card. So this person is trying to manifest you back into their lives. That is Gemini and Virgo energy, so you might be dealing with a Gemini or Virgo. The World card means that they're going to come in and they're going to tell you. They're going to explain to you in a very sweet way what happened, okay? They're going to talk to you and they're going to tell you. Uh, why they why they took off, okay? So they're going to tell you why they left the relationship because it appears that they left. Also, to the world card can be worldly success, it can be career, it can be jobs, uh, but it does look like they were not able to stay in the relationship at that time. So let's see. The Nine of Wands, they want to do the work. They are willing to do the work. That's fire in the belly. That is all about being willing to go the distance, right? The Nine of Wands, energy, Sagittarius, willing to go the distance. Look at this is what they wish for. They wish for a happy home life with you, a possible commitment with you. That is what they, they think that you would also like to have, Gemini. Let's see. Whoops, a daisy. Here we go. Now, King of Pentacles. I had two fly out. The King of Pentacles energy is Taurus energy. Your person wants to be there for you. They want to be reliable. They want to build, they want to set a foundation. They want to plant roots with you. And look at this, the Ten of Cups, happily ever after. Your ex is going to return. So beautiful energy. I am going to clarify what the tower is about. Okay. 
the hanged man. Okay, they were undecided. They didn't know what to do, where to go. They weren't really at this place in their life where they were really ready for what happened. They were not ready um, for the feelings that they grew for you. They were also in a very bad stage in their life. This is a card of depression. It often comes after we've had the loss of something or someone in our lives. But this person was very much underwater emotionally. And so they were just not really uh, present in the same way that you were. They were going through tough times and a crisis uh, came about. Yeah, but it made them unwilling to commit back then. So that was what it was about. It really shows that they didn't have what it took to make a commitment. They're coming back in. They want to earn your trust. They're willing to do the work to earn your trust to build a very strong foundation with you, okay? So, all right. So that is the Gemini, uh, will your ex return reading. Wow, the readings are very positive today. So now we're going to do Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. All right, will your ex return? Cancer, will your ex return? Let's see what we have. Okay, let's see. Okay. All right, there's your reading. Ah, the King of Wands energy beating a drum, coming back for you with a lot of dash, a lot of vigor. I like it. The situation, the Five of Cups, they owe you an apology. They are very clear that they owe you an apology and they're ready to give it. I'm getting the Five of Wands. From your perspective, you felt very much this person had options and that they were dating other people and that they really never gave you their undivided attention. The Eight of Coins says that they've been working on themselves. It really tells us that they're leveling up. The Queen of Pentacles is what they want with you. The Queen of Pentacles is the uh, Capricorn Queen, all about the business of doing the right thing. Look at this energy, the Ace of Cups. They have fallen in love with you more than they were before. When you were dating earlier, they were not in the same place you were emotionally. You were, you know, you were really definitely ahead of them in terms of where you were at. But the Ace of Cups is coming in in the near future. It's all those butterflies are taking off. And it's all about opening their heart chakra for the chance to have another chance with you. So let's see what we have. Let's see what we have here. Okay. The Knight of Cups. There we go. So I like this because this person's coming in with a very romantic offer. Could be, you know, could be a bottle of wine, some roses. But the Knight of Cups is all about wearing the heart on this, you know, on showing their heart chakra, really letting you know that they care about you very deeply and that they want a new romantic beginning. Now, this person is has King of Wands energy, but their offer right now is coming in as a knight. Now, knights aren't always here to stay, so you're going to have to be careful because it does indicate that they could be fickle, that they haven't really solidified themselves yet in your love relationship. So let's see what else we have in the circumstances around the two of you, Four of Wands, what Swords. Four of Swords energy indicates that they know that they need to fix how they hurt you. And they hurt you pretty badly. You know, the Four of Swords is basically the soldier who comes in wounded from war. The beautiful part is that for most of you, Cancer, you know, you've taken this time for yourself to heal, uh, to rest, to recuperate from this. Uh, but it does show those beautiful feathers uh, being cast out into the world. Strength card, okay. So this is the infinity symbol when you look at the number eight. So the strength card is Leo energy. It is all about having the strength, the ability to uh, make this relationship work. And so let's see what your outcome card is. Nice. Okay, let's see. Okay. 
we have the chariot card this person is rolling in now they're not coming in as fast as a normal chariot card because that is a snail so it could have really been a long time for many of you this person is returning it's cancerian energy there you are in the reading except this is your person this is the outcome they are coming in slowly and the reason they're coming in slowly is that they know that they hurt you they absolutely know that they hurt you. They put you in um, situations where you were not the only one, or at least they were spending time with other people, or they were not giving a commitment. So what we see here is your lover returns, and they know that they have to come in and heal the wounds. And we have Venus and Cancer. Venus and Mars and Cancer. I don't think Mars is there quite yet, but this is a very peak time astrologically for all of you who are Cancers, because Venus entered Cancer, I think yesterday, and it is a time of healing. It's a time of, you know, getting together with all of those people that you love in your life to nurture your relationship. So I feel as though this may happen during your birthday month. Okay, so now let's look for Leo. And we have a Leo in the house over here. I like it. Hello, Jewel Kamoy. Is that right? Right now, Jewel, I am going to read, and this will be time stamped, and it will show after, you know, I will post it in the feed, and I'm getting ready to do Leo, okay? Leo X return. All right, so we have a Leo. I love it. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. All right. Let's see what we have for Leo. Will your ex return? Will your ex return, Leo? There we go. Seven of Pentacles, an investment. So I always like to see Pentacles and love readings because they give a groundedness and an earthiness and an investment to the relationship, okay? So I like it. Seven of Pentacles. I like the Seven of Pentacles. I mean, I think it's a very powerful card. You know, it's like the orchard is, you know, has, has apples blossoming and it's almost time for the harvest. All right, the page of pentacles, making plans, making small plans, no over, no over the top promises, being very practical, very down to earth. This is Virgo energy, um, but this person is planning on investing. Okay, so let's see what else we have for your energy here. As you look at the situation, the King of Wands, you really want them to boss up. You want them to come to the table with, with equal give and take. You want them to come to the table with the same passion and the same dynamic energy that you give to the relationship. So this is going to be very powerful because it will determine, um, it will determine how you accept the offer that I think that they're going to make. So let's see. Let's see what we have in the recent past. Hi. Hi, Jewel. Joni Angels are real. Hello, beautiful one, too. I like your shamrock. Thank you. So let's see what we have in the recent past for our Leo friends. This has been really burdensome. Your person feels really guilty. They know that you bent over backwards because you see the bend in the back, right? You can see that person is hunched over from the weight of all of the flowers that they're carrying. So your person really feels guilty because they know that you did so much. You did so much for this relationship and you know, they didn't, they let you down. Even though that you thought they were invested, they did let you down. And so what we're seeing here is your person feels as though they, all, they owe you an apology. Now, if they're a Leo energy, <laughs> we'll see. But I really like it so far. So let's see what the crowning energy is. The best that can be achieved. Ace of Wands, a new passionate beginning. Wonderful. And the Emperor card, this person is going to come in with a very powerful energy. They're going to do whatever they have to do. If This is a female Emperor. So they're coming in very loving and very sweet and very kind and very giving. But make no mistake, this Emperor is the boss and this Emperor is controlling. This person may have a lot of people that they employ or that they work with, but they are coming in with this energy of managing 
say these are the quote unquote little issues or problems or things that need to be managed, they are bossing up. You have this beautiful energy of the Emperor card. So nice energy. Aries energy. So for Leo, that is very compatible energy. And Aries energy is also Mars. Mars rules Aries and it is a co-ruler of Scorpio. So if you have a partner, and I think one of my, yep, we have somebody here with a partner who is a Scorpio. They're bringing their Mars energy to the table. They are taking action. Look at that. Leo energy, the strength. You are coming in as a person that they know really has the strength of heart. You know, the Leo, the lion hearted. It really speaks to the fact that your person, the emperor card wants a Leo, the lion hearted, right? It's compatible energy. So I'm seeing that as a very powerful energy for you. And that lion is eating out of the hand of that woman. And it looks as though... They are in this very strong embrace that they've had for a long time. I feel like you know your person or you've known them for a very long time. You've had good times and bad and you know the difference. Let's see what they're doing. Seven of Cups. They need to make choices. They need to make them carefully. If they do not choose carefully, it will um, not bode well. So I'm going to clarify that, okay? Because the Seven of cups is about having options but your person is also fantasizing about you so if you've been apart and you haven't made love for a while i would say with that ace of wands your person wants to be very close to you very intimate very loving very passionate with you with all that fiery energy here so let's see what we have. The Five of Cups, your person really feels as though they left you in a very uh, a state of sadness, that they owe you an apology, that uh, they're fearful also that they could let you down or they could hurt you. But we're going to clarify those cards so we know really what they mean. So it does look like your person's coming back. Let's see what their finale is here. King of Pentacles, love it. Taurus energy. Stability. We started out with the Seven of Coins and it advances to the King of Pentacles. All right, we're going to clarify a couple of cards that are a little bit thorny for our Leo friends. Okay, so why do we have this person coming in with the energy of the Seven of Cups? I want to see what that energy is. All right, so they're being very clear-headed. Oh, good. I'm so glad. We're getting the King of Swords, and the King of Swords oftentimes is interpreted as cold, aloof, you know, but the King of Swords is strategic. It's Aquarius energy, and Aquarius energy is for the good of the all, right? It's for the collective. It's everything that should be good for the collective. So I see your person studying the situation, studying what they need to do, to make the right choice and handle everything in the right way because the emperor definitely is in this bossing up energy. So very, very good clarifier, I think, uh, for that energy of the Seven of Cups because I like the magic wand dinging the correct star, choosing the right star to move on. Why is the Five of Cups here? This person has great clarity on the fact that they hurt you they absolutely will give you a low down. I feel as though they're going to talk in a very direct way or speak in a very direct way about why they hurt you and how they didn't mean to do it. So I do think, yeah, there we go. They're going to come to you with an energy of equal give and take. They really want to talk about this. They feel as though they hurt you and that you really hid your hurt. So whoever this is really wants to make things right for you. Let's see what we have for the King of Pentacles. Okay, Five of Swords tells me that this person is coming back, but you still have some battles to fight, okay? So the King, uh, excuse me, the Five of Swords says that your person is not so mindful as you would like them to be. Now, the answer is they're coming back. They want you as a lover. They're making a choice. The Five of Swords says, though, that there's something that you're going to have to deal with. It does look like your relationship is very solid. The Knight of Swords is details. So let's dig into this just a little bit more. I want to see what this is about because you have a great reading, and yet it looks like they're coming in and they're, they're not being as clear as they need to be as they return. 
So let's see, a higher power, okay, so stay spiritual. Let's see what we have, okay. The fates, okay, okay. So here's what I'm seeing is that your person is making plans and they may get, they might get sidetracked in some way. So what I'm seeing here is with the fate card is that circumstances that your person cannot control will have an impact on the reconciliation in a way that is probably going to delay it. Now let's see what else we have. Round and round, yep. You just feel like you can't get this person to really settle into an answer, but here you have new life. All right, so you do get there, but I would say it's going to probably take about five months with that Five of Swords card with the Ace here. I feel as though, I feel as though they're going to return in about two to three months, but, you know, officially, like, show up. But I feel as though the reconciliation will be somewhat delayed. It looks like they have to move from a different location. It looks like they aren't really, um, they're building a new life and you will be a part of that. But it gets a little thorny along the way, but I am seeing a yes. Okay, all right. So let's see what we have for Virgo. All right, so. Tell me, how is everybody doing now that the world is opening up? Are you getting out? Are you getting haircuts? <laughs> Are you doing fun things? Are you making plans to travel? <laughs> Say something over here in the in the chat. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, so let's see. Judgment card. So we have the judgment card for Virgo. Virgo, it looks as though you and your person will be making a choice about your relationship. The Judgment card is Mars energy. You'll decide what action you will take. The King of Pentacles is crossing it. Judgment card with the King of Pentacles. That is a solid, solid offer coming in from a King of Pentacles. And that is really Virgo energy too. So Virgo, for those of you who are watching, it looks as though you've been really mystified and really upset. You really haven't known where you stand with someone. You feel very uncomfortable with it. You feel sort of like, you know, you're howling at the moon like that wolf and you don't really know how they feel about you. So let's see what we have in the recent past. We have the high priestess using their intuition. So your person is really using their intuition to see how you feel about them. They're trying to figure it out. They're trying to, they are underwater a little bit. It is Cancerian energy. <laughs> That's a lot of cards, okay. Um, but here you are, you're in your reading Virgo, here you are. So you may be dealing with another Virgo. You may dealing. You may be dealing with somebody who has a sun, moon, re uh, Venus or rising in Virgo, but your person is heading towards you steadily, slowly. I'll be right back. Okay. We also have the lover's card. So a choice is being made in the near future. Um, and the wheel of fortune. Oh, destiny is playing a role here. So this is going to be really kind of a nail biter. We're seeing the Nine of Cups. You are happy. It looks like your, your wish is granted, Virgo. If you want this person back in your life, they still care about you a great deal, but they've put you more in a friendship zone. Um, the Ten of Swords says that you fear that you really betrayed them in a way, or they betrayed you, I'm sorry, that they betrayed you in a way that you don't really know if you can really accept them back. It's You're feeling very... Very worried. It's a fear. It's a very deep fear for you. So we're really seeing this energy of being afraid of being hurt again. And let's see here what we have. The Four of Swords. Okay, so for our Virgos, I would say that it is unlikely that your person is coming back. They may take time to heal and come back, but right now they're not ready. And that is actually, you know, kind of predicated. I would say that they care about you very deeply. I would say that they love you. I would say that circumstances are playing a role in this or the timing. The Nine of Cups does grant your wish, absolutely. So the answer would be yes, your person is coming back, but it's 
probably at least four months down the road and it could be longer. And it shows that there's a lot that has to happen first, a lot of healing that has to take place. So right now, though I am getting a yes answer, it is a cautionary note that it could take time, that outside circumstances are playing a part. I'm going to look at Wisdom of the Oracle and see what we have. Cindy Fragel, hi. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I'm glad you think my vibe is always pleasant. I would hope so, right? We don't come to tarot readings to get our hearts ripped out. We come to tarot readings to enjoy the optimism that we have ahead of us in our hopes and our, our, our trials and tribulations or our journey in life, right? Building blocks. What did I just say? So your person has some things to do. I literally think that, Virgo, your person is really very much involved in some aspect of their life that they can't really... They're not able to devote a lot of time and effort. They don't have the freedom to do it. We have that King of Pentacles energy, so they're definitely building something. We see Treasure Island. Okay, so this is a yes answer also. But again, timing is the key because the Wheel of Fortune is not going to give it to you right now. And I don't really have an ace here. Usually I need an ace for timing. But so it does look as though a choice will be made, but the relationship has to be rebuilt and it has to be rebuilt after the two of you heal. So there was some sort of misunderstanding, there was some sort of feeling of betrayal, there was a choice that needed to be made that still needs to be made. So that's what I would say, Virgo, I'm cautiously optimistic, but you have a pretty, a pretty high bar set because with regeneration, if either one of you is unwilling to revisit the past, this won't happen. So unless you're really willing to look at yourselves, but I think you will because of judgment, okay? So that's what I have for Virgo. So we're going to move on to Libra. All right, so Libra, Libra, Libra in the house. What is going on with our Libra friends? X return files for Libra. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Steady as you go. You might be dealing with a Virgo. Somebody who's moving so slowly, you don't think they're going to come back. The star card, your person cares about you a great deal. They feel as though you are a rock star. They definitely have a lot of respect, a lot of admiration, a very strong feeling with you that you are a person who is quite beautiful inside and outside. We get the temperance card. The temperance card says that the two of you need to make some decisions together. You need to talk things through. You need to really um, kind of go through the relationship and work out the misunderstandings because this is a really soft, lovely reading and it really speaks to the fact that you truly love each other. Wheel of Fortune. So circumstances or timing may not have been right the Magician card, your person's manifesting you. We are seeing Libra, that is Gemini and Virgo energy. We have Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Sagittarius again. So let's see if you're going to reunite or reconnect. Empress, that's a yes answer. Okay, so we'll see what the details are. But that is manifestation. It is the essence of love. It is the planet Venus. It is Venus and Taurus where it is elevated. Okay, so I feel as though for many of you, Nine of Pentacles. So it really shows that both of you are single, happy, very successful people who um, live really nice lives. So your person sees you as being glorious. They, they like the way you dress. They like the way you talk. They like your jewelry. They like, they like how you decorate your home. They like your pets. Let's see, here we go. We have Eight of Cups, okay. So now we have somebody who is walking away who was not satisfied. So we're gonna need to look at that, Libra. Oh, Eight of Cups, leaving for something better. All right, so here, here we are in this energy of all of this love, all of this fascination. The Magician card is not a small matter, it's manifesting. So your fear is that it's over, right? That your person is walking away. So we're going to check out the Eight of Cups because it may be wishful thinking that they want to come back to you. Look at this. They're coming back. 
the Eight of Wands. Now, here's the caveat. The Eight of Wands and the Eight of Cups says that they may come back for a short time. They may not stick around. So I see that they love you, but it's much more of a, it's a spiritual love. It's very strong. It's very beautiful. Do they think that you're absolutely incredible? Yes, they do. But this really says that they're coming, they want the passion. Eight of Wands, they want to make love all night long. But we're going to clarify this card. Now, this can also mean, because this card is them, this card represents you. They don't know if you will get back together with them. But I'm going to clarify for the energy that represents them. Let's see what we have here. That Eight of Cups energy. If that is an energy that your person is carrying in the circumstance, because that position in the Celtic is the circumstance. So you may not take them back. So that's the other way. There's two different storylines here. In one situation, you won't take them back. In another situation, it looks as though they may have mixed feelings about coming back other than for passion. Okay. The camera, reminiscing, learning from the past and making memories. Okay. So that really is, it does speak to the fact that you will be back together at least for a short period of time. It could be longer. Reminiscing about the past is beautiful. Camera, creating images, creating memories. Uh, love, unconditional love, passion, affection, and attraction. All right. So it does look as though you will get back together. Whether you're back together for more than eight months, I don't know. It looks as though that will vary, you know, depending on who's watching. So I do get a yes, but a cautionary yes, okay? Pay attention if somebody's just in it for the passion. Although I don't think that's the case because you had that good earth sign energy in the Empress, okay, and the star wish fulfillment. Scorpio in the house. Scorpio, Scorpio. Scorpio, will your ex return? Will your ex return? Let's see. All right, Scorpio, will your ex return? The Queen of Wands. Ooh, fire energy. I like uh, fire. I love the wands for Scorpio because you share the common rulership of Mars. Now we have the Empress card also. It really tells me that uh, you're manifesting pure love. The Magician card says, again, another card of manifestation. Uh, this person moved so slowly in the past that you didn't think they were going to show up. All right, so Scorpio, will your ex return? Scorpio, will your ex return? Three of Swords, ouch, okay. So Scorpio, your ex feel, you were in a third party situation or circumstances in which there were, that you couldn't come together whatever those circumstances were. You were separated by time, distance, people, or other commitments. So take it as it resonates. Let's see what we have here for the future. The Four of Cups, some disappointment. So let's look. The Five of Swords, not being treated fairly. All right. So Scorpio, Scorpio, will your ex return? The Two of Swords, I don't think they're talking to you. They're watching you. They're sneakily watching you underneath the brim of that hat. It does show that. So let's see what else we have. What else? The Nine of Cups, they really feel as though you deserve the best that there could be. They feel as though you're the very best person that they've ever been with. They feel very much, uh, Scorpio, that you have brought them fulfillment and happiness. Uh, it looks like they have a desire to return, but we're going to look at this Three of Swords, the King of Cups. Scorpio, there you are in your reading, okay? So we're going to have to clarify this because when you look at the King of Cups, you can see that there is a shark churning in the Scorpio's tummy. 
So Scorpio doesn't tend to talk about their feelings. Everything on the surface is fine, but beneath, they feel like they just don't know. They don't know if it's going to work out, if you're going to accept them back. Let's look and clarify the Three of Swords energy-wise, the Three of Swords here. The Queen of Swords, okay, so somebody made a decision. Okay, somebody made a decision. The Lover's card, oh, look at this. So somebody made a decision to leave the relationship because you were in a third party situation. It looks as though, not necessarily that the person is married, Scorpio, or was married, but it does look like a third party came into the situation. The Two of Cups is clarifying the Five of Swords. They do want a reconciliation with you. They're very anxious about it. They're very anxious about whether it's going to work. And the Page of Pentacles. So that is clarifying. A taking baby steps, taking it a day at a time. Scorpio, I feel as though your reconciliation will be something that you can work through. The Fool card, a new beginning. It does show that you're all up in your head about it and worried about it. Uh, but it does show you're both willing to work. Okay. So I would say, Scorpio, your person will come back and the two of you will decide together how to make it work. It looks as though there were other situations that caused the breakup. And you will be working through that. But the Two of Cups is also a marriage card. And this is wish fulfillment. So, all right. So, let's see, Sagittarius. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, for Sagittarius, let's, let's shuffle the cards really well. All right. Sagittarius. Sagittarius in the house. What do we have for your reconciliation? The Knight of Cups. Okay. So somebody's coming in with a very sweet offer. The World card. Okay. So this could be a very quick reunion that is here and gone tomorrow. So Sagittarius, keep that in mind because the first two cards out say somebody comes in romantically and then it shows that you have a great reunion, and then the future is uncertain. You can either have a future together that's very successful, or the person could, you know, be on their way to another country, for all you know. So we don't know yet. We have to have all ten cards to know the story. All right. So let's see what we have here. King of Wands energy. That is a manifesting energy, fifth house of the solar chart that is Leo energy. It's all about the romance. So this person is very romantically inclined. The King of Wands energy is energy of success. The Death card. Okay, so this was a recent past, so it looks like some of you might have had a breakup that didn't last very long. It could have happened as quickly as the recent six weeks or so. The Ten of Wands releasing burdens. All right, so we'll have to clarify and see what the burdens were in the situation. Hi, <laughs> Cassie Smith, Cassell, is that Cassell Smith? Thank you. Matt Mafe, hi, all is well with me. Thank you so much for stopping by, Mafe. Thank you, Cassell, thanks. Okay, the Page of Cups, you know, the two of you are not going to jump in and get in over your head, Sag. You're gonna stay very sweet, very kind, very loving with each other. Pages are, you know, like, let's go out and have coffee, let's go, you know, come on over for dinner, let's watch a movie, let's just chat, let's chill. The King of Cups, you are both very emotional about each other. And you're both really feeling a lot of angst because we see the, again, the shark in the bottom of the tummy of the King of Cups is both of you are concealing this feeling of dis. I'm, discomfort. Discomfort is what I would say. Let's see what the circumstances around this is, are. Let's see. Two of Cups. Okay. So the Two of Cups energy does speak to the fact that your person really sees your relationship as having the potential to go somewhere. They're not counting on it. They're not jumping ahead. But they feel as though the burdens of the past need to be set aside. And your person is willing to do the work. Okay. And we have, I'm going to take these three. 
The Six of Swords, though, indicates that you might have moved on. One of you may be moving on. I feel as though this person comes back. I feel as though they talk to you. I get temperance. They have this energy. But I'm seeing the uh, water taxi leaving with the King of Swords energy. The two of you may come to the conclusion, and that's what I'm thinking, that yes, there is an effort at reconciliation. But whatever this card, we're going to do a little mini reading on what this, this energy is here, okay? So we're going to do that. We're going to pull that. We're going to do uh, Wisdom of the Oracle and see what is going on in this relationship that may sabotage a reconciliation because it looks really testy for sure. It looks like you both care about each other. It looks like you both are willing to do the work, but here we go. This is the answer. Okay, so the yay energy, whoops, <laughs> the yay energy in this connection brought about a lot of drama, okay? Never-ending story, and chopping wood, the work has to be done. So, for Sagittarius, this is your energy. You did come up at the end of your reading. You are definitely willing. Your person is not going to leave. Because Sagittarius energy is the outcome card, okay, that's your energy, and you are the King of Swords, and you are the Six of Swords, I feel as though you will make the choice that this person has not solved enough of their problems to really make it worth you doing the work, because I see you releasing all the burdens. If they bring burdens in with this never-ending story, I don't see you really willing to hang in there with them, which, you know, I think is a good decision. If that's, you know, for those with whom it resonates, if this is your story, then I definitely see that that's probably very wise. And this feminine energy of the King of Wands is very smart energy. So that is what I have for Sagittarius. Will my ex return? So right now we're doing Capricorn, Page of Cups, nice energy, Page of Cups energy. Small offer, but we'll see. It's a sweet offer. It's interesting. We all like a goldfish. Six of Pentacles, good. Equal give and take. I think I need a haircut. <laughs> All right, we have the Chariot card. You are not willing to move into this too quickly. You're really willing to use your intuition. You want this reconciliation, Capricorn, but you certainly want it in a very calm, deliberate way. You are going to slow this person down. It does look like they're coming in to chat. It looks like a little fireside chat with tea. So I do think you're going to have a conversation with this person. Ah, they come in with a lot of passion. <laughs> so we're going to see if that passion is going to be enough for our Capricorns, ruled by Saturn, the taskmaster of the Zodiac. So let's see what we have. Let's see. All right. The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune says that you are going to let the Wheel of Fortune turn, and if this person is meant to be in your life, then you will let them be in your life if they're able to do the work, okay? So that's really speaks volumes about the timing is may, may be hard to predict on this, that uh, timing and fate and destiny has a hand in this. In the near future, what do we see? The Four of Swords, healing, okay? So that's not action. So in the immediate future, I do not see the timing as being something that's going to bring this person back. Let's see what we have. Nine of Cups, you could hear about from, you could hear about an invitation from them about, let's go get drunk, <laughs> eat, drink, be merry, make love. And so, but you know, this healing energy needs to take place. Uh, I see this person willing to chat. I see this person being sweet, but I'm not seeing anything of substance yet, okay? So Capricorn, what do we have for the circumstances? This person will tell you that they love you, and they do. They do love you. The Ace of Pentacles, they want to make a solid offer, but this is your wish. This is not necessarily something that they will manifest. And what do we see for the outcome? Ah, oh, okay. The Emperor card speaks to the fact that this would be a yes answer. Traditional tarot reading, this is a yes answer. But I would have caution you 
on the fact that there's healing that has to take place. And if anybody has an attitude of my way or the highway, and that one person needs to have a say over the other person, I would say that though you will come together, though you will talk, it may not work. So the Emperor card, along with this Four of Swords, says that both of you have to be on the same page. And you may not be. So I feel as though this is very much a conversation that will happen. Um, whether it is something that manifests itself, the emperor typically does manifest. But let's see what the, the uh, Paradise, the Island Time Wellness Oracle says about this. Tell us something about this relationship, please. Be lighthearted. Finding out things coming to light. Adapt, change, and heal. Okay, so it does look like you're going to find out some things you don't like. So whether you accept them back, Capricorn, may be another matter. But let's look and see what else the Spirit has to tell us about this. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future, which is exactly what I've been saying. That this person may return. I feel as though they will definitely return. And it will be up to the two of you to decide whether it's going to go. Girl with a snake. Okay, so this is being charmed or used. Enable. You have to have boundaries. This person is not necessarily thinking about you or what's best for you. So I would be very, very careful, Capricorn. This is a relationship that could cause a new wound after an old. Even if somebody loves you. It, it does show that there's some difficulties. You need a leg up in this relationship. Your person has to come to the table ready to really respond in that way. They have to be fair with you. No, no, none of this my way or the highway. You know, when I get the Emperor card, basically what you get is somebody who says, well, I can't see you any other night than on Tuesday because I work all those nights. Now, you know that they're not true with a snake card, right? You know they're not true. You know that's not accurate. But that's what I mean. Like, everything has to be on their terms. Don't agree to that, okay? And let's see. One more card from a change is in the wind. Okay. So a change is in the wind. And what you'll have to do is you'll have to assess how you feel about their effort and how much you trust them. But you need to really have your spidey senses out. This person, I don't even think they're necessarily aware that they aren't who they think they are in relationship. I don't think they have that awareness. All right, so now we go to Aquarius. Aquarius in the house. All right, so. Aquarius, will your ex return? <clears throat> Aquarius, will your ex return? Will your ex return? Whoever you have in mind, will Aquarius ex return? <laughs> yes okay sun card you may be dealing with a leo okay so the sun card is somebody that you had a lot of laughs with a lot of happiness with uh it is something that you have your eye on whether you're letting that be known or not but the sun energy says yes they will return <laughs> that is the house of romance the empress card they see you as the empress they see you as a person who has abundance, and you're the manifestation of everything they want. This is a sign of Venus. This is love. You are attracting them back. All right. They feel as though you look better than you've ever looked in your whole life. Seven of Wands, you feel very defensive. You feel very defensive, Aquarius. All right. What happened in the recent past? Here you are, looking single and ready to mingle. Your person is very aware that you look great, that you are in a position of abundance and wealth in your life. Your person sees you as highly desirable to both to them as well as other people. The Queen of Cups, they do love you. I think for many of you, you might have known this person for a long time. This relationship looks like it was a long-lasting relationship. Um, you've known each other forever. The chariot card, they're coming towards you. Okay. 
They're coming towards you slowly, though. I don't think that this is going to be something that happens quickly because that's a snail. A snail's pace is what I would say about this reconciliation. But let's see, because I don't know that you're going to take them back. You may. The star card, they see. Wow. This speaks volumes to the fact this is your card, Aquarius. This is you. And your person sees you as an absolute rock star. So I don't know what you've done in terms of your career or how you look or whether you've upgraded your life in some way. But they see you as a stellar, just a rock star. Absolutely. Uh, the person, for some of you, you may be dating somebody who is very well known. The King of Wands energy, Leo energy. So we have you, again, you may be dealing with that Leo, but they're coming in. Now they're going to try to take an approach in which they may ask you for help. They may ask for you to, they're going to be very soft. It's, it's feminine, mas feminine energy for masculine personality, okay? Don't want my ex back, a Taurus. Ah! Yeah, love it. Yeah, I know. You know, we don't always want our exes back, but sometimes it's just fun to spy on them, right? The Emperor card, your person, Aquarius, is very bossy. They think that they have it all together. Um, but I'm seeing that here you are in your reading, Aquarius energy and the Three of Pentacles, that I don't think that you're going to hold a grudge against them, particularly because of Three of Pentacles, but I don't think you're taking them back. I just don't. I really get the energy that you have seen the light, you're holding the wand in your hand, and you are creating a situation in which you may have a working relationship or you might be willing to talk to them. You may be willing to have some sort of business with them. But I do not see you taking this person back. I just don't see it. So let's see what Island Time Wellness, if it agrees with my assessment here. Because I'm seeing you as being pretty unwilling to take them back. You feel as though... You know, you wish them well, you're spiritually releasing them, the time in your life when they were here was very good, but let's see what you think about this person, because this is a card that makes me say you won't take them back. Here you, you have, what is it, well, what do we say, glow up? You're in this energy, I don't see you wanting to go back to this energy, and that's the energy that they constantly put you in. They always made you feel like you weren't good enough, that they were never good. They were always going to keep you behind bars at a distance, like, stop. You know, they were always doing that to you. And, you know, the fact that they're going to come in and really say sweet nothings, and they're going to butter you up, and they're, they're going to say, you know, could I really use your help? Because you have some career skill or something that they need or want. You're a rock star. And I feel as though you're you're going to say separation now. You know, that, that you're unsure of your future, uh, that you'll be lighthearted with them, but you are changing and healing. Um, and with that king of swords energy, that's the, the sign of the surgeon, cutting it out, com cutting something out of your life strategically. Um, let's see. Unconditionally, you'll always love this person, and I feel as though there's always a spot in your heart that you will have for them. But I'm getting heartbroken. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. You're not going to go through this again because you've already achieved this. So I don't see you going back. I feel as though at best you will probably heal a relationship that was a long term. You've known the person for a long time. And I think you will honor that piece without really, um, you know, having a romantic interlude with them. Let's see what. Wisdom of the Oracle has to say. Yeah, oh my gosh, all that glitters is not gold. At one time you thought they were gold and now you see the truth. All right, so that's the energy I get. I get that this person's going to come around again and, and try to sort of 
ask for your help as a way of sort of sidling up to you and, and trying to propose something different. Okay, so let's look at Pisces. So I want all of you who have a question, I'll take the first 10 questions in chat. As soon as I finish the Pisces reading, um, Cassie has a question posted. So um, I want you to know, okay, great, Cindy, okay, good. So is your ex coming back anytime soon? Okay, so I'm gonna do Pisces and then I'm gonna sweep back. I'm gonna take 10 questions. I will answer them with basically a three to five card spread very quickly on an individual basis before we wrap up, will my ex return? Okay, so let's look for Pisces. Pisces, will your ex return? Queen of Pentacles, you are waiting Capricorn energy. So you may know this person through work, or you may have met them through work, you may work with them. And I'm seeing that Queen of Pentacles energy is a kind of uh, marriage energy. Five of Swords, ooh, you do not like how they treated you. They were not kind. They were not kind. That person looks like they had a sharp tongue at the very least. Let's see. The Magician card. So you do want them back. The Magician energy is Virgo and Gemini energy. Oh, look at that. That flipped over. We have the Two of Cups. So it does look like you were very happy in the relationship before. It looks like they broke it off and they hurt you very deeply, Pisces. That Five of Swords is somebody who's operating from their shadow. Let's see. The High Priestess. This person's silent. I don't think that you're speaking at all right now with that Five of Swords. The King of Wands energy indicates that you probably will get some sort of text message or communication from them. The Emperor energy says that they're going to come in kind of aloof, um, kind of bossed up, sort of like ignoring the fact that they hurt you really badly. The Emperor card is in this energy says that they'll try to come in sort of softly. But it looks like they sidestep the Five of Swords energy, the King of Wands. Yeah, it's almost like la, 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 I'm not going to really, you know, let's not really talk about anything. Let's just go forward. Let's just move forward. And that energy doesn't really work, right? If you don't talk about the past, it doesn't really work out usually that you solve the problems of the past. So I'm always leery. When people say, oh, well, you know, let's get back together, but we're not going to talk about the past because that's over. Let's just start fresh. But how do you repeat? How do you keep from repeating those errors? All right, here we go. So this person has slow moving energy. They are coming towards you. I don't like the energy, though, for a reconciliation. This energy is a little weird. I just don't think that they're bringing enough to the table. But let, we'll see. Let's see. The star card. Well, this comes back. The person does come back much, much stronger than the rest of the reading look like. looks like. It looks as though they've had some epiphanies, but Aquarius, this is Aquarius energy. So it does show that they've sort of gone on an inner journey. They're coming back after a period of healing. And so it's, you know, they're going to ask you if you will allow them to be back in your life. And let's look and see what the Wisdom of the Oracle says. It doesn't, you know, this reading is just a little bit, it's all scattered. Okay, yin energy, they're going to come back and make a request. They're going to ask of you. Building blocks, they're going to ask to work on the relationship with you. And they are in their imagination a little bit. I think that they think that they have more to bring to the table than they actually do, but, you know, take it as it resonates. It won't be the story for everybody, but they're, your person's coming back. Whether you take them back is going to be based on this, the fact that they hurt you so badly and whether they address it. So let's see, girl with a snake. See, that's what I thought. Not willing to address it, wanting to just ignore. I have a snake wrapped around me, but just ignore that, please. So, yeah, and here's the snake. Oh, my gosh. Girl with the snake followed by the snake, followed by separation. So I would say that you will have a conversation with this person. I don't think that you're going to be willing to do this, and it doesn't look like they're necessarily trustworthy. So, okay. All right, so we're going to do Pisces now. Will your ex return for Pisces? 
Let's see someone rising and Venus. Will your ex return? I, ooh, we have a card that flipped over. We have the Queen of Swords energy. So, Pisces, interesting energy. That is Libra energy. We have the King of Wands is crossing the Queen of Swords. So, the, the King of Wands is coming in, thumping the drum. The Queen of Swords is sitting in saying, well, I'm going to, I'm going to like look at the facts and make a good decision. <laughs> so, the Seven of Cups energy says that both you and your love interest are very sad being away from each other. You miss each other. We have a goose <laughs> holding an umbrella over rainy days. Aww. So let's see what happened in the past for you. We have Nine of Cups. Eat, drink, be merry. So you had a lot of fun. So the relationship looks like the focus on the relationship was all about community, spending time, hanging out. This is all about dressing up, going out, fun, fun, fun. So it doesn't look like the relationship got to a point of seriousness and it seemed to bring sadness around for perhaps you Pisces or the other person. So we'll see what happens here. Let's see. The moon card. Right now both of you are feeling very lost. This is a smoky trail, the the trail that you go down at night. It it really makes you both feel very fearful, but your person feels very much underwater. The other thing is, is that it looks like there are things that you don't know about this person or what they're doing at this time. I don't think they're in a great place, Pisces. That moon card is the, you know, it's the wolf howling at the moon. So it really speaks to the fact that this person is in a state of darkness, so to speak. Two of Wands, there is a decision that has to be made, okay? Going down a new path. That decision will be made pretty soon. I'm seeing that probably within a six-week uh, period of time that a decision will be made. Ace of Cups, yes. They will be coming back. They will share the fact that they love you. The Ace of Cups is asking for a new beginning in love, Pisces. Beautiful energy. I like it. And then, how are you feeling about this? Because in the circumstances, what are the circumstances and your reaction to this person? Three of Wands, you're open. Good. This person is someone who feels like home to you. You didn't want to let go of this relationship. It does look like this person may have, I wouldn't say they ghosted you, but they didn't really explain much. But your energy is very much with the Four of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands, it shows that your person perceived you as holding on kind of tightly to them and making plans, but they like it. When they think of it now, they very much like that energy. They like the fact that you really wanted them, that you wanted to have a future with them. The Nine of Pentacles is your, it's your hopes, your dreams, but look at this. This energy is really gorgeous. It speaks to the fact that both of you are very much attracted to each other. Aha, here we go though. The energy is very in and out energy. It is player energy. Specifically, this is somebody that wants your attention very badly, Pisces. They are jumping through hoops to get your attention. But when we get the Knight of Wands, we get somebody who gets on the horse and rides away, sort of like Don Juan. Here for the good time, but not the long term, okay? So let's see what else we have to clarify that energy. I feel like your ex will return, but I think that there's a lot of answers that you need to get from this person with the moon card and with this player energy. I don't think there's any security in this for you, but we'll pull one clarifier here. We have the chariot card. So they are moving slowly. They are getting tapped into their emotions, but let's take a look and see what Island Time Wellness says about this reconciliation because I don't consider it so much a reconciliation because I don't see stability as the outcome or in the reading. I see love blossoming. Is it possible? Yes. Is it probable? It remains to be seen. Looks like this person doesn't have 
commitment on their mind, yes, yeah, self-indulgence. The focus on, their, on the self, this person has shadow work to do with that Knight of Wands energy. Addiction, codependent obsession, possession, controlling. Okay, so they do have a block here. So this person doesn't look like they're really capable. I mean, they like you. They like you, love you. It says, I like you. Um, it really says that romance is blossoming, that they want to date you. But again, you know, I would just do it with caution. So let me look and see what the messages of love are for this person towards you. They do consider this true love. For them, this is very much true love. It's very emotional, physical, and unconditional. And the Pisces moon, there you are, Pisces. That's actually your card. So the person may have hidden this from you. That could have been what they were hiding from you, is that they actually loved you, but they were not giving you what they knew you deserved. So acceptance, everything happens for a reason. So I would go with the flow on this. I would keep my eyes peeled, but it does look like there's toxicity in this relationship. And though they want it back, and though you want it back, um, oh wow, I got three cards that fell out right here, okay? So what it says is that this person does possess integrity. Okay, good. It does show that they regret what they did in terms of just sort of treating you more like an option. And they do want a second chance. The relationship deserves a second chance. All right, Pisces, that is your reading. So your ex will return and you'll take it a day at a time. All right. All right. Mwah! Sending you love from Chicago. Thanks everyone for joining me today. Again, you'll find the, uh, the version, the edited version tomorrow posted. So thanks again. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone. So that is it. I want to thank all of you who are, you know, going to leave at this point in time. I invite you to come back and look at the edited version of this tomorrow. And in the meantime, okay, hi, is Aries over? Okay, so now I'm going to start going through the questions. And I'm going to answer the first 10, okay? So thank you to everyone. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. I really hope you'll take the time to do that. Uh, and I appreciate it. Okay, so let's take a look and see what the energy is for Cassie. Let's see. Cassie and her love. Okay. So, Cassie, let's take a look for you. Ah! I need a hairband. <laughs> so, let's see. When will your person be back together? Okay. All right, so we have the first one. Ooh, the Seven of Swords. This person lied to you. It's a snake draped in flowers. Ouch, okay. The Eight of Swords says that they're thinking about returning. And we're looking at um, somebody who's in a cage. They put themselves there. You know, if you treat people badly, you put yourselves in a cage. And this is an angel. So there is an, there is an angel, a guardian angel in this situation, Cassie. But they behaved very badly. That Seven of Swords card is one of a thief. A thief is stealing the eggs. And the high priestess so right now I would say intuitively that to clarify the seven of cups I would say right now they're thinking about it I would say when we look at this you are looking at we have two sevens a high priestess anywhere from two weeks to late July is what I'm getting the Seven of Cups would be July, okay? So that's the energy of the Seven of Cups because it's it's um, Scorpio energy. It doesn't look like it's going to be fast according to this particular reading. Um, but again, you know, the Hierophant. So it does look like when the person comes back, your person comes back, they'll come back in a much more serious way, but it doesn't look like it's immediate for timing. So I'm sorry to say that. All right, so let's see what we have now. Okay. Uh, okay, so now I'm looking down, 
scrolling, scrolling. Okay, so let's see. Mafe, I just joined. I think that's okay. Gemini. Sashi. Hi, Ariel. Oh, Sashi. Sashni. All right, so let's see. Aries was the first sign, yes. Beautiful. Okay, Aries was down first. Yeah, Virgo. Okay. Cindy. Okay. Is your ex coming back anytime soon, Cindy? Okay, so this is for Cindy Fraggle. Okay. Hierophant. I would say not fast. I would say Hierophant is an energy. It's a slow energy. It's Taurus. Slow but steady. The Page of Swords, okay. So the Page of Swords, it looks like the energy that's holding you apart is disappearing. So that's really good. It does look like a person is keeping tabs on you. Let's see. We have Five of Pentacles. Ouch! That's you feeling left in the cold, the Queen of Swords. So I want you to tell me, this, this is very, um, I don't know if your person is married. I don't know if they're involved in a third party situation. I would say that um, Nine of Swords, there's something that's in the way here. So that's what I'm getting. Let me look at the Oracle cards for you. Ah, thank you. Oh, <laughs> the Pisces reading <laughs> answered the Aries. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, the truth be told. Okay, so there's a truth that needs to be faced in this situation. This person may not be very good for you is what I'm seeing. They may have a repetitive pattern with you uh, where they, they stay around for a while and then when they're in the mood, they blow off. It looks like there's a repetitious pattern there. So whatever the truth is that you know, looks like it's going to hold water. So very tough one. That is a tough one. So I don't see them really coming, well, go the distance. I would say when I see go the distance, that's very fiery energy. I would say that you're looking at the time of Leo, that they'll come back. I just don't think that they're back to stay. I just don't. I think this person could repeat a cycle with you, so be careful, okay? Because I don't want your heart to get hurt more than it is. But it does look like this person, they want to go the distance. I'm just, you know, the truth be told, though, is it looks as though they get up all in their head and it's not for you. So do I think that they'll come back and try to persuade you to be with them again? Yes, but I do think that you're at risk of being hurt. Okay, so be careful, my friends out there. I don't want anybody to have a broken heart. Been there, done that, right? Haven't we all? Really is not fun. That's the not fun part of dating. Okay, let's see. Donna, the Pisces reading. Okay. I think I had the first question. Oh, Richard, thank you. Okay, wait a minute. Do you want to just type it in again for me, Richard? Aquarius, she is Aries. Oh, is she thinking of me? Thank you. Okay, sorry about that. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I know, Cassie, I know. I did a thumbs up on the likes. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you, thank you. And, okay, so is she thinking about you? Is your person thinking about you? Richard, is your person thinking about you? This would be a big hello yes, ten of coins. It is tangible. The reason I can say yes so readily is that coins are things that you can touch, feel, smell. They're tangibles. So the answer is yes. Is she thinking about you? Does she think that the scales need to be balanced better, that she actually needs to come back into your life in a way that I don't know what happened, but it does look as though she's headed back, and it does look as though she felt as though she really was pretty raw with you when she left. She feels as though she was not fair to you because we have justice reversed. Uh, it does look like she's looking for a new beginning and wanting to really, you know, make amends and go the distance with you. So I like that energy for you.